Okay, so, so far we've only looked at the basic relationships. Now we're going to look at something a bit more advanced. It's called the has many through relationship. And we're going to get into that a bit later, but first what I'm going to do is I'm going to refactor our code a little, uh, a little bit. So what I've done, instead of having an address table with a country column, I've changed it to countries and I've removed the user ID column. And instead what I'm doing is referencing that country in our users table through this column here. So hopefully that made sense. Now, if we go to our browser, we're getting this error here. So we need to take care of that. So let's create our country model, country.php, class country extends eloquent. And in user, we need to change this address here to country. And all we need to do is change that class to country. So now we can do user country name. Hit refresh. Uh, oh, whoops, uh, we're using the wrong relationship. So here we're using has one, we need to change this to belongs to, just like we covered in the first uh, video. So hit refresh. And we're still not getting anything. We're referencing country name. Country. Oh, okay. So let's rename this to name. Okay, so hopefully, there we go, we get our country. Let's try Alex. Yeah, everything is working fine. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to be able to go to something like country, and then United Kingdom. This is the ID for the for the United Kingdom country. And I want to display all posts made within that country. But that's going to be extremely difficult. Because if you think about it, if we go to our articles table, we don't have a country ID field or anything like that. So how are we going to do this? Well, let's create a country ID field. And let's fill this in. So hello world was posted by Terry. So what country is seen? He's in the country with an ID of one. So let's fill that in. And Alex was in the country with the ID of two. So we could do it this way, and that would make things much, much easier. But that's gonna, that's still gonna be extremely impractical. Because what if a user moves country, then we'd have to find all of his articles and change every single record. So you know what, scratch that, let's get rid of it. There must be an easier way to go about doing this. And luckily there is. So the has many through relationship. So before we do this, let's get our roots and everything set up. So root get and I'm going to modify the URI a bit a little bit. I'm going to say root get posts country ID country ID, pass in our closure there. So first things first, I'm going to get the country using our country model. I'm going to say find or fail country ID. And then we're going to return view make country with country country. And I'm going to make this a bit more explicit country posts. So country posts .php. What we're going to do is go to our previous articles uh, view. And I'm going to copy this. And what I'm going to do all the way up here is I'm going to say header one. And I'm going to say country name. And let's get rid of this for now, because otherwise we're going to get an error. So unexpected. Okay, we forgot a semicolon. So let's change this to posts country one. And we're getting an error. Uh, let's change this here. And there we go. So let's just quickly change this to posts made in the and we'll get rid of the so post made in the United Kingdom, uh, Kingdom, change this to two and we get United States. Perfect. So that's all well and good. But how are we going to get a country's articles? Much more simpler than you would have thought. 
So in our country model, I'm going to create a public function, public function articles, and I'm going to return this as many through. Now the first thing that we want to do is provide our article model because that's what we're trying to retrieve. We're trying to get the articles. Next thing that we're going to pass in will be our user table. And that's because our user table is the table that contains the country ID. So pass in our user table. And as our third argument, what we want to do is pass in the column name of the country ID, which in this case is simply country ID. And finally, we want to provide the the column in the articles table. Uh, where is it? Articles, which references the user. So it's user ID. So if we paste our markup back in and hit refresh, we're getting an error. We need to change this to country articles. Uh, we'll get rid of this. That was for something else. Hit refresh. And there we go. So because Terry is in the United Kingdom, we're getting all the posts made by him. And that's, that's annoying me. Let's change that to a H3. All the posts made by Terry since he's in the United Kingdom. And if we go to the United States, we're getting all the posts made by the users in the United States, which in this case is simply Alex.